Steam is one of the factors, I think, that holds the key to the uniqueness and special qualities of Britain's path to industrialization, and indeed the fact that Britain was the first country to industrialize in any recognizable sense. Steam meant, perhaps more than anything else, a regular supply of moving power. Before the steam revolution, the sources of power were the motion of wind, of water, and of course, human labor. What steam power allowed was the establishment of workshops, of factories, of industrial enterprises, away from the traditional power sources and the integration of industrial systems into a whole national and eventually international work of capitalist production. So the riddle is what is it that makes Britain the place where the steam revolution takes off? Think about the technologies required to design the early stationary steam engines, the kind of machines built right at the end of the 17th and beginning of the 18th century in England, and then relatively slowly diffused, mainly by British engineers, through Western and Central Europe. A stationary steam engine is, in effect, an ingenious assembly of three kinds of device using three kinds of very specific technology. First of all, clockwork, the kind of control mechanism that men like Savory and Newcomen designed to maintain the speed of the engine and maintain its regularity and keep it as a, as a controlled device. That needed a clockwork regulator and to build machines like that, it was necessary, therefore, to have a vigorous and skillful industry in precision clockmaking, gearing and engineering. And early 18th century Britain already possesses that kind of skill base. Secondly, for the big cylinders up and down which the pistons would move in these stationary engines. Well, the technology to build those comes straight from artillery, from cannon boring. So one had to have a large and expert skill base in artillery and really quite high degrees of precision and control in boring and controlling metal. And finally, of course, the great boilers which developed the steam to power the motion of the pistons. Well, that kind of technology is transferred quite directly from distillation and from brewing, from the preparation of spirits. So it's the way in which the early steam machines can join together three highly skilled industries, clock making, brewing, gunnery, that gives the first stationary steam engines their extraordinary success and allows the steam industries of Britain to take off right through the 18th century.